All right, so what am I gonna work on with you today? We, my dear, are gonna work on my blankets. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> I am making solid granny squares. Is this coming out good? Solid get granny squares, and it's all the colors, all my scrap yarn that I could ever hope for. So no two squares are the same. Uh, they're all gonna be 18 rounds, and I have to make sure that there are two thin, like a one or two weight in here, and the rest are all worsted, because that's how I did the first one. So I, I have to scrounge around for one or two weight, <laughs> like a lot when I run out of it. Um, this one is pretty cool. There happened to just be a lot of blues in it. I'm hoping that the colors are coming out good, because this looks like it's washing everything out. This is really pretty. Uh, how many square, how many rows is this? This is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, so I have four more rows to add to this one. So my my thinking is the small little balls of junk yarn that I have, like that would be junk yarn because I can't really do anything with it. Um, those go in the smaller rounds just to get rid of it. Okay, so it's one color per round. And the big chunks, the big skeins that I have like too much of, those go in the outer rounds. Like once it hits like round 10, I switch to the big, well, actually, no. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven rows in, seven rounds in, I switch to the full skeins. So that's how I am doing that. And, um, yeah, I have a few going at a time because I have like this little bucket of the balls, of scrap balls and scrap yarn. And I, oh, I, I, uh, want to use them up. I want to get rid of this bucket. So I keep starting new squares so I can use up the colors in this bucket so I can get rid of it. Or not get rid of it and just make all of these, um, pull all, some of all of these out and make little balls of the, these. So I don't have to have this big giant cubby uh, full. So the colors that I have in here, they change constantly because um, in order to use all of the scrap yarn that I have thrifted lately, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm literally, that's why I started all of this, to get rid of the bags that I thrifted from the, th from the thrift store. <laughs> so in order to get rid of those, which actually the bags are mostly gone, so, uh, let's see, wait, let's, okay, let's check this out. This is old, this is thrifted, this is thrifted, that's thrifted. These are scraps that wouldn't fit on squares that are too small for squares. Thrifted, old, mine, thrifted, another square, thrifted. My old, no, this is, yeah, I think this is my old yarn. Mine, thrifted, um, thrifted, mine, mine and thrifted, thrift, mine. I know, it's crazy that I know where all of this yarn came from. Mine. Thrift, 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 thrift from like 2013. 
uh, thrift. And this is an old thrift from like 2014. So that's not a whole lot of thrifted yarn that I have left. We'll work on this one right now. And I gotta use up this beautiful green. And it's a one or two weight. And it's just fun. I'm gonna put you back down. I think you're crooked and let's see. Yep. You're on some yarn. You're crooked. And uh that's fine. <laughs> It's fine for me that you're crooked. <laughs> I just won't look. Mm -mm -mm. This is not a tutorial. I don't do tutorials. So, I do need my glasses. I do. I need my glasses. Holy moly. Da, 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 da. Yikes. Zoinks. What is this doing? Why didn't I put that back in there? Uh, the chaos, I thrive on the chaos of, of all this mess. It makes me want to continue to crochet to dwindle down the mess. And that is Ruger drinking. Oh, and his belly is rumbling. Oh my gosh. So we were up at 5 a.m. Uh, like 5.11 this morning, to be exact. So he had his breakfast at 5. And at like 5. Uh, probably at around 11, I'll give them a mid-morning snack. Uh, pro could be like 10. I think it's like, what time is it right now? It's 8.49. Um, probably at... 10 I'll give them the mid-morning snack the mid-morning snack is usually just whatever leftovers because when they eat their breakfast so they eat 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 and then when they're done they walk away so sometimes they'll come back and finish it before I can grab it but I like to grab it because they eat most of it like 90% of it so the 10% that they leave behind I pick up the bowls and I put them away and then uh, for the mid-morning snack um, I put the bowls back down and they can finish their breakfast. Uh, if they're extra starving and I hear rum tumblies, rumblies in their tumblies, I'll, I'll put a little extra food in there. But then they eat at, uh, like this morning, since we got up at five, they'll eat at one. And, uh, because Ruger needs his medication every eight, eight to 12 hours. Um, I think he could... I think he could benefit from six, six hours, but I don't want to accidentally overdose my dog because I love him. But uh, he, yeah, he gets antsy for his medication um, early. He starts whining, not, not the usual being annoying whining, but like it hurts whining. Um, it's very, it's very sad when dogs are getting older. It's very sad. I don't like it. And Mark wants to get another puppy. And I don't want another puppy. He wants to get a Bernice Mountain, Bernice Mountain Dog? Bernice Mountain Dog? I don't know. The ones that um, Aaron, give me yarn 418 has, he wants a bunch, he wants those. Those dogs. <laughs> so uh we might get one of those i don't know he wants one like now and that's three dogs that i have to handle by myself uh, and i still have the fear and anxiety of an f-i-g-h-t which i have me and ruger have lived through and it was not fun i don't ever want that to happen again. I don't even like to say the, the word of what happened. Uh, I spelled it, <laughs> but I don't like to say it. Um, it, was, it was the worst day of my entire life that I've ever lived on planet Earth. And I don't ever want to do that again. So if we do, like thankfully, 
Douglas is the sweetest dog and loves Ruger so much. And Ruger loves Douglas. So we lucked out finding Douglas. But I don't know, like, when we brought Ruger home to Dublin, we thought Dublin was going to absolutely love him. But the second we walked in the door with Ruger, Douglas, uh, Dublin wanted to rip him out of our arms and end him right there. And it, it took weeks and weeks and weeks of working with Dublin to get him to accept Ruger and because uh, they're both males and then um, about two years later the other thing happened and I I literally called the German Shepherd Rescue and I told them what happened and I said I need to bring my dog down I don't trust him anymore and um, or I'm going to bring the victim down because I don't want him getting beat up again. And she said, no, don't do, don't do either of those. It's just a one-time thing. You can, you can, I can guarantee that. It's just because the older one is letting the younger one know that now that he's getting bigger, your older one is still in charge. So that's all that was. I can guarantee you it'll never happen again. We'll never have this conversation again because it'll never happen again. And she was right. Uh, but see, now I don't want to bring Douglas a puppy <laughs> because Ruger doesn't care. I don't see Ruger like beating up a puppy. But Douglas is going to have the same issue that Dublin had with Ruger. The puppy is going to grow and get um, more independent and territorial. And Douglas is going to be like, you're, you're, you know, you're beneath me. And, and he's going to, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. So I don't want another dog. Um, <laughs> I should probably go to therapy. That, that thing, that day messed me up with dogs for real so um, every time Douglas every time Mark leaves I get anxiety for like the first hour because I, I don't know like what mood Douglas is in I don't know so that's all about that gosh this green is so pretty so pretty on the oh, that uh, what am I making now so I have four of these giant 18 round squares done. So I need, uh, I think I need four more or six more. I'm not sure. I don't know how big I want to make it. Wait, th I think I need three across and five up. So, no, I don't know. I, I had the measurements, I had the quantities, but um, I'm going to crochet all of the squares uh, black ar around. Crochet the last round of all of them, maybe the last two rounds, so it's an even 20, uh, are gonna be black, and then I'm gonna crochet them with black all together. So the, so the squares are like floating in the darkness, kind of. And it'll also widen out the blanket so I don't have to make an extra square. It doesn't matter because I'm still doing the, the crochet work. But um, it's not the same. It's not something I can get bored with. Bored of? Bored. Bored. Uh, what do I do with my... Oh no, what did I do with my silly little scissors, my scissors? Whoa, all right, I'm gonna hurt myself. Jeez Louise, okay. Uh, I'll pull that out. Oh, we could go, I might do a white. Let's get some white on there. Does every square need to have white? No. Oh no! Wait. Okay, I need to put that there. 
so I don't accidentally use it. Sometimes I pull out the wrong hook and use it by accident. And I don't realize it. Like, I could have very easily have pulled out my G hook and <laughs> started crocheting on this. It's really, really irritating to me that this battery doesn't hold a whole lot of life. And it also irritates me that my nose is super itchy and I can't just itch it. You know when you, um, when you go like this, like that, but you go like that. Everybody does this. You go like that and you itch. I can't do that because of these stupid braces. Because I'm, I'd be wiping my braces against my, my lips. So, okay, so there's two. I struggle when, when it's a thinner yarn, I struggle to find that first stitch. Uh, oh, and the, oh my gosh, the fly situation in my house is out of control. Yesterday, I killed 16 or 17 flies in my house. And they were, they were not just in my house flying around, they were traveling in packs. So I was easily able to swat about three flies at a time. I don't know why they're ganging up on me. It's, it's, I don't know, it's craziness. But I'm not using a regular fly swatter. I'm using, I don't know if I have it. It's, it's an electric zapper. It's uh, in the shape of a tennis racket. And uh, you press a button on the side when you're ready to swat. And it, it uh, gives a little zip zap to the fly and they, they fall down and uh, they don't bother me anymore. And uh, today, because I accidentally left the door open, well, okay, I didn't accidentally leave the door open. I had to, I left the door open without thinking, without thinking, uh, because I had to go out and get Douglas's ball that he left outside. And then when the dogs were coming in, Ruger stopped midway in to let Douglas in because he knows that Douglas is the boss and he wanted to respect him or not get beaten up. And uh, he stopped midway through the door and waited for Douglas. And Douglas was like across the yard. And I'm like, dude, get in. You just let in 27 flies. And he's like, I don't care. <laughs> it's my life. And I was like, oh my God, you're a dog. Stop quoting Billy Joel. And that is what happened this morning. So I am a rambling fool. I love doing these squares. I absolutely love it. I don't know what color is going to come next. It literally depends on the quantity of the yarn that I have. So uh, it's fun. It's fun. It, it, it's so random. Like I can't plan it because if I plan like the next round to be uh, pink, this pink, well, it's all different. Or this purple. There's not enough purple to go in the next round. So I can't plan ahead. Unless, okay, unless I take stock of everything. And that's not fun. Wow. You know that sound? When, I guess it's not a, a sound as much as a feeling. When you can sense that a TV has just been turned on in your house. The It's like a silent whining. I don't know. It's very hard to explain. It's very, very strange. I, I'm sensing it right now, like like my TV just turned on. But it didn't. I'm sitting right in front of it. I guess I could do that. You could, you could look at it from the back. The way this is set up, like my other... I was able to do a crochet with me in my other house, in my other recliner, because uh, the recliner was thin in the back and it allowed me to um, set up my camera overhead and I unfortunately only did that crochet with me once I don't remember why I never did it again it got a good response but 
I just never did it again. Oh my gosh, I'm starving all the way to death. Oh my gosh. I kind of want a, a protein shake, but I like to drink them closer to my workout time. And today, I will be going to the gym probably at around 11, and then I have to go to Walmart and pick up chocolate, chip, chocolate chips. And then I am coming home, I'm going to bake four batches of chocolate chip cookies and then I'm going to drive over, uh, it's like a 10 minute drive, over to my sister's house and deliver them to my beautiful niece Carrie Ann and uh, for her birthday today and she is having some medical issues so please keep her in your prayers because she's only... I have no idea how old she is. <laughs> I know she's under 25. <laughs> so I guess I'm not that good of an aunt. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what year she was born, so I can't even do the math. But I'm gonna bake her a bunch of cookies. Uh, I did for the twins. They're a year and a half older than her, so for the twins, uh, they like um, the honeycomb candy. It's also called seafoam candy. Um, I made that all dipped in chocolate for them, so for their birthday. I used to give like $100, but now they all have like careers. They don't have jobs, they all have careers. <laughs> so uh, they don't need my little $100 of birthday anymore. So that's where the, the baked goods come in, or the candy, the confectionaries. I was thinking of, of making her the peppermint patties also, but that is like a five hour gig and I am not up to that today. I I would have to, uh, it's not like, it's not like five hour, it's very hard to explain. It's a process and you have to keep running to the freezer to keep everything frozen while you're dipping the chocolate it has to like the peppermint has to keep being in the freezer like right up until the last second that you're dr dropping it in the chocolate so it doesn't melt and it's really annoying very annoying um process same with scones scones have to be um kept in the freezer so the butter stays frozen until you pop it in the oven because um the butter will then defrost and release steam and uh, the butter will melt and that will keep the scones nice and fluffy and and beautiful and I and not dry if you don't like a dry scone um, then do it the frozen way I, I got these recipes oh my god my nose is so itchy i don't even know what to do it's the outside of my nose maybe i got bitten by something um the preppy kitchen i love that dude i don't know what his name is but i have watched hundreds of hours of his recipes and i still don't know what his name is but his recipes are the best there is there is no missing the mark when you watch his when you use his recipes i use his um his chocolate chip cookies i don't use because i i have another one that i use from youtube and i don't remember the guy's name it's just some random dude in his own kitchen like um 10 years ago <laughs> so i use his and then for my um for my cool whip cookies there's another channel, and it's just some some metalhead dude with like an Ozzy Osbourne T-shirt um, doing the tutorial for Cool Whip cookies, like 15 years ago. So those those two videos I go to over and over again um, whenever I make those items. But like the sponge cake candy and or the angel food candy, whatever it is. Um, peppermint patties. Oh gosh, so many things I use his channel for. Oh, the scones. I just named everything anyway. I'm running out of battery. 
I've been saying that the whole time and I haven't run out of battery. The only thing that's a really, um, anyway, I, I gave Fuzzy the, uh, we call her Fuzzy because when she was a baby, her head was fuzzy, uh, like all babies' heads. So why didn't we call the twins Fuzzy? That's weird. Okay. So, <laughs> ah, so I, I gave her a list of things I'm willing to make or bake. And I, I did tell her that if she wishes for anything else, uh, just shoot me the recipe on YouTube and I can, I can make it. So, um, she chose the chocolate chip cookies and, uh, so that's what I will be making for her today. And, um, I kind of want to go to a thrift store. See, this is my, my too much gene kicking in. I have all this yarn that I'm trying to use and then I'm like thinking of buying more yarn. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's absolutely, is this thing gonna blink at me before it goes out? Cause I think it's down to one cell. It was on three cells out of four. This is, I've had this camera since I want to say 2016. Douglas, oh, I can't show you. Um, but I, I've only used it like 10 times, so it's still brand new. I'm just glad the software still still works. It's a Sanyo, I think. You hear my belly? I'm starving over here. Maybe I will make my protein shake. My protein shake of love. Okay, now it's blinking at me. All right, well, I'm gonna go. Oh, I could, okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. Wow, that's weird, okay. So I plugged you in. Ugh. It took, <laughs> it took, it took a, a really big effort to, uh, get off this recliner and now I can't find whatever I was working on. Oh Lord, did I, it's not in there. Oh, I put it in here. What a wacko, what a wacko. So that is, whoa, a two, one, two. Oh my gosh, I have one banana left, so I have to remind myself to pick up bananas when I get to Walmart. Walmart, bananas and chocolate chip. Ooh, maybe I can make, oh, maybe I'll make myself some chocolate chip muffins while I'm baking. Perhaps, perhaps, uh, boop. Chicken, 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 boom. All right, then we'll do a mint. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna do a blue instead. I need to get rid of this blue. I'm so tired of it. I've been carrying that around for like 20 years. Oh, you know what? Nope, I'm gonna do this brown. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ah, I try not to make these cute at all. I want them to be just nothing. I don't want there to be a theme. Two, three. Like, oh, I see that you made a Christmas, a Christmas square. Oh, this must be your Halloween square. No, I don't want any themed squares. So, don't even think about it. No, 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 no. And then sometimes, I, I was uh, counting, I was counting all of my stitches so to make sure that they're odd. Um, I don't know why, and then um, it was, I was pulling out entire squares because I was like one stitch off. And then I realized, who cares? Nobody cares, but I, had already wasted like two hours of crocheting and ripping it out <laughs> because I counted. So I stopped counting. 
uh, <laughs> I just do the same thing over and over again and that should be good enough. I'm not doing anything that creates an extra stitch or minus a stitch. I'm just, I'm just crocheting in all of the stitches across and then making a big, a big blip blip. I don't know. So what am I going to be making in the future? Nobody asks. Well, uh, my dream, I still have the dream of making a jumpsuit and uh, like, like, like Charlie's Angels style. That means nothing. It's just a jumpsuit. And I also want to make a Halloween dress, like a whole Halloween themed dress. I want to make another creepy doll. I want to make an epic, epic creepy doll. Is this going to tell me if I'm out of memory? My nose? Like, I, I'm thinking that I should probably, like, put some Vaseline on my nose or go take a Benadryl. That's how bad my nose is itching right now. It's just not stopping. Maybe it's all the fibers from... No, my nose never itches from crocheting. Welcome back, everybody. Okay. Well, I went to the gym. And I had a, an okay workout. It could have been better. But there were too many people in the women's gym. And I don't like working in the regular main gym. Now where I work out... Wow, oh, that was annoying. <laughs> I hate when the when the yarn, the hook won't catch. The gym that I work out in um, hates women. Uh, they have all the entire gym upstairs. And it feels like all the weight training, the free weights, whatever, all the special dudes who like to throw down their weights when they're done instead of gently putting them down, they put them like right over us. Or that's what it feels like. And those guys, they just throw down their barbells and it shakes us up. So uh, it was so bad one time I left. I left the building because it felt like they were going to fall right through onto us. And I did not appreciate that. No, thank you. I wonder if this would be better. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Here we go. They've already eaten. They have their afternoon toy. They've been out to go potty. There's no reason for this fool to be crying. Yet, here he goes. <sighs> it's very, very trying to... I wonder if... Stop! I wonder if this tripod, tripod goes any higher. You know what? I'm not gonna mess with Oh, it does go hot. Oh, what? That is super cool. Oh my gosh. Please make my dog stop. Oh, look, there's my chin. Well, I might not be able to even finish this one round. That's. That's all I want, I just finish around. So I came, I went to the gym. I was there for an, oh my gosh. I'm like 11.45 and I left at 1.12. So I was there for a, a good amount of time. I walked on the treadmill uh, with my heart rate up past 1.15. For 40 minutes straight so that was good I didn't get so many weights in just a little bit but then I went to Walmart and I did not buy any yarn I was going to but I didn't buy I didn't bring a cart on purpose and I did not grab a basket on purpose a hand basket because I know that if I have those things I will fill them up. So I wanted to get in, out, and on with my life. 
So here comes Ruger. <laughs> oh Lord. What do you want? What do you, what you want, boy? What you want, little boy? Huh? You had medicine, you had dinner, you wanna go out? Okay, all right. That's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go outside. Let's go. goes out to the street so it's really easy for someone to hop that wall and come around and run in my door so I don't give anyone that opportunity I have that door locked at all times it's very dark over there oh my gosh <sighs> they want to go out but they don't do anything when they're out there it drives me insane na, 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 na. They spend about five minutes out there before they start barking. So we have five minutes to ourselves. Ugh. So, gotta finish. Oh, you're hearing the, uh, oops. I'm a mess. <laughs> this, this is not working for me. This kind of sucks for me. I don't like this. It's not a very good setup. I like chit-chatting because I don't get to talk to people all day. Nobody talks to me. Anywhere, zero places. People don't talk in Walmart, people don't talk in the gym. It's a very lonely life I live. And uh, my dogs can't talk to me. But I can talk to you guys. Nobody, uh, you guys rarely talk to me in the comments. And it makes me sad, I get very sad. My hiccup videos. My hiccup peeps, they they talk to me all day and all night. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's great. So it makes me want to. They're making. They're making me want to make more. I was gonna say hip hop. <laughs> uh, hiccup videos. Hiccup videos. You can't see nothing. There's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I guess that would be okay. Would that be okay? Do 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 do. And then when my husband comes home, he continues working. And then if he's not home and he calls from a hotel, he is mainly calling to see the dogs. So. <clears throat> So I literally, if I tell him anything about my day, he's not listening. He's reading emails that are popping up on his phone or um, thinking if he should get me off the phone because somebody else is calling on the other line. It's just, I have nobody to talk to. So you are it. Tag, you're it. Oh my Lord. So, I forgot to, well, okay, so I, I didn't forget, I just didn't go. The primary elections were yesterday. And I literally, I set my alarm on my phone and I went in to my room to change, to go. And then when I brought out my makeup bag to put on my mascara and lipstick to just go, 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 I wasn't gonna put on a whole face of makeup. Um, I decided no, <laughs> I, I don't feel like going and the primary elections uh, don't really matter, I don't think. I don't, I don't think so. So, um, yeah, oh my gosh. 
I had the best lunch. Uh, my my calories that I burned at the gym were only like 180 calories. Plus, that was a treadmill. Um, plus whatever I did when I was lifting weights. But when I got home, I had half a pound of angel hair pasta and um, sausage, peppers, and onions without the sausage. So whenever there's leftovers and there's not enough to make a sausage, peppers, and onions on a roll, I don't eat sausage. Did I just tell you that? Uh, when there's not enough for a roll or I'm out of rolls, I just eat the, le the rest of it over pasta. So it becomes spaghetti. Spaghetti. And it was so good, I don't even, I couldn't even remember my name. And I would have married myself. I would have married myself if I had not been myself. Ruger's staring in here. I don't know if he went potty, but I usually watch him when he goes out there. But I forgot to watch him because I'm talking to you guys. Talking to you guys. Oh, I forgot to add this in. Okay, so I was just grabbing it and grabbing it and grabbing it. And then I didn't do anything with it. <laughs> ah, ah. I'm tired. I still have to bake like four, four um, batches of cookies and bring them over to my niece. Is that better? I don't know. Oh, you looked them in. You coming eat? You come you come and eat that? Twenty seven flies came in with you, Luger. Twenty seven. Okay, so there's a ball there, there's a ball there. You have a ball, you have a ball, everybody has a ball. Mm. How you doing? I didn't clean out my... Um. Okay, I know... <sighs> Wait, what? Is this even recording? Why? What is it? Is it telling me I'm out of memory now? I already knew that. <laughs> memory. Okay. Four minutes of memory left. Okay, well, I finally got my, what row is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth row. It's fully finished, almost, hold on. So I guess I will go now. Maybe every time I do this, I'll do a few rows. I don't know. Oh, you ready to come get the other ball? He's a, he's a ball thief. <laughs> now he has two. He got two of them. Douglas is not neutered, so Douglas has two of them also. Here's my would be fancy hook that I love so much. So beautiful. I love that. It's nice and smooth. It's. I've worn the. Um, I've worn most of the coating off. Yeah, I got it, it's all dirty. That's how much I've used it. <laughs> all right, well, I guess I'm gonna go upload this. I think these are going to be uploaded like whenever I feel like it. And also the hiccup videos, they're not going away either. I'm, I'm bringing them back as a ploy to grow my channel to make more money. All right, well, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything, and perhaps I will see you on another day. Bye.